Tim coming from Cro-Magnum Targets. We've been using our target for several months now. Shot the heck out of it. And uh, one thing we've got here, we've got some different targets he's got now. He's got different colors and the targets are paintable. We're just going to let him tell you a little bit about them. Go ahead and tell him a little bit about this guy, Tim. Uh, I, I took him, bought another target, and we took your target out of the stand, mm -hmm. and we just inserted this one in. So you, this so, is just like ours, but just got a little like suit yours. on him because, you know, everybody's not going to be wearing a hoodie that might need to be shot sometime, you know. So yeah, you just never know, idea. you know. He's dressed business. them how you need to, right? Right, you know, you that's the great thing about using a 3d self-healing target is that no matter the scenario that you want to present you can dress these guys to look any which way that you want and the fact that they're interchangeable you buy the stand and the target all as a complete unit when you get through with this target which is going to be a long time i mean you've been shooting yours for five months at right. least and we, we haven't uh, shot it into extinction yet. Mm -hmm. So you can take and replace your target without having to buy a new stand. Right, that's a good idea. And not only that, you know, of course the heads are removable. So if you like doing a lot of head shots mm -hmm. and you wear out the head, then you can buy a new head. Sure. So they're, they're all interchangeable. They, they all work really good together. Let's put that sleeve down. On there. Let's now, look at this new color you got over here. Yeah, we got Everyone a new color. Looks like Dave Burgers. Tell me a little bit about him. Well, we received a lot of feedback on the color of the target, Jim. And uh, some I was positive, and, or a lot I was positive, but we did receive some negative. Well, some people are stupid, you know. They think because the target's black, you're pretending to shoot a black guy. That ain't the way it is. You know, for your silhouettes, was all black, you know, on the range. Absolutely. And a silhouette at night, I don't care what color race you are it's going to be a black silhouette well black especially if the are. person's wearing a mask sure uh, uh it could be a ski mask or uh, a, a jacket with a hood on yeah, it people usually yeah. ain't naked out there at night and yeah. in the dark you don't know you're not going to have anybody shine bright yeah. in the dark everybody's yeah. going to look dark yeah. at, well, at night and, and, and the thing about this target and the green target is that and we i think we even talked a little bit about it, they luminous uh -huh. under black lighting so if you want to do low light training low light tactical training on an indoor range or even if you got an outdoor range where you can set up some really good blue uh, mm -hmm. black lighting uh stands and whatnot these guys glow yeah. now it's gonna be we can't demonstrate that today obviously sure but uh it, it's, it's really cool so this guy's in pretty good shape you got yeah. any fat guys no we don't have any around uh, here we got more fat people do skinny people yeah. well we wanted to make you know shoot small miss yeah. small i'm gonna get on meth like this problem. yeah so uh and the, and the big the thing about it is is that you can get this target it's gonna be a little bit more because mm -hmm. it's a little bit more uh, it's cost a little bit more costly and a little uh -huh. bit more time in the the, the uh, manufacturing of, of this color because we have to add things to it and stuff sure. and that's what we were trying to do is keep the cost down for folks uh -huh. but if you want this target we'll make you one it'll be special order uh -huh. but we're gonna have them up on the website here soon and if you see this and you, you want one right away and it's not on the website you just contact us on the website under the uh, sales uh, email and i'll get back with you as quickly can you make pretty much any color or just just the... right now this is that we're limited to uh lightening up the the material that we've got uh -huh. already uh by adding some uh some different chemicals to mm -hmm. it doesn't change the uh the the strength of it doesn't uh -huh. change the, the 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 use it just makes it a different color and and it's really good uh you can like i said interchangeable stands uh, you can take and put the female on this stand or you can put the male on the other stand uh, they, they work really good together and uh, uh, again the heads you know you can remove the heads off of them mm -hmm. uh, what I like to do is like we put a mask on him or a wig or, or whatnot I can take my staple gun and just go tick 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 yeah. and, and and staple it mm -hmm. and he's stapled uh, it don't come off and, and whatnot so like on, we got the the wig and the uh, the the wig and we got the uh, the mask on him making him look like kind of a uh, creepy old fella mm -hmm. but uh but well dressed uh but, you know it's not going to come off when you're training let's go over and look at the gals a minute oh yeah we got yeah, our I ladies like, i like the idea that you, you know, a lot of times you can set up scenarios like a hostage situation stuff and women are more likely to be a victim yeah. than a man is you know okay. I, uh, I just gotta tell you I found this zombie 
outfit at a, at a, at a salvage store mm -hmm. and I couldn't resist it. I just had to have it because uh, and, and, and it fits her just it fits her just perfect. I think I went to school with her. Do you? Uh, <laughs> but uh, we, we dressed her up for a uh, shoot that we had at the range uh, back last month. Uh -huh. We had a church group come and actually shoot. So I set up a, a couple of little scenarios for them and put the little, made her a zombie. And I mean, I'm telling you, the people just love it. I mean, you see, she's got headshots. Uh -huh. That's the only way you kill a zombie, right. a headshot. But she took a lot to the to the chest also. And uh, you can look under here and, and see that. 16. Yeah, well, you can see the rounds. Uh -huh. <laughs> You can see the rounds where they uh, where they went through, sure. and, and, and still didn't have that damage in the back uh -huh. that, that we were looking at. So, and and of course, if you got the our our yellow male target, you're going to have to have the yellow female. Yeah, you can. I mean, we we want to make sure, and so um, we we got her we got her dressed up here a little bit. It's kind of a Daisy Duke look you gave her there, Jeff. Now some of these they're they're paintable too, right? If you, you get the right primer, you know you want to use a dry powder kind of base primer. Uh -huh. You don't want to use an enamel or anything that's got kind of an oil base to it mm -hmm. because the oil because this is a polymer uh -huh. and, it's, and it's a petroleum based product, uh, petroleums really don't mix with right. it. So but if you can find a cheap uh, powder based uh, primer or a paint mm -hmm. that goes on, uh, matter of fact even the, the snow spray snow uh -huh. stuff, you can spray that on there. And, uh, and and change the color. Uh, it's just just whatever. But you know, by putting clothes on them, you're gonna see where your heads are. Sure. And and even without the clothes on, you can still come up and see where you where your target effectiveness was. That's the thing I've noticed. We use some light colored t-shirts and some of them with yeah. your targets on them and things, that, and you just see the hits really well. I've tried darker ones. You got to get right up on it, and see where you hit. But that's good too. You don't fix up a night situation, whatever. Shoot that dark target. Then you can see after you're done how well you hit, well, uh, you know, instead of seeing as you go. So, there's a lot of different things you can do. They're, they're very versatile targets. We well, really like them. Yeah, with our shoot and wear shirts, because we uh -huh. have the heart and lungs, mm -hmm. and then we have the rib cage one with the heart and lung in uh -huh. it. And of course the target shirt, and we got the zombie and the skull. Those are great, especially for, for tactical training. If you dress them up and put the shirt underneath, mm -hmm. the heart and lungs uh, and the rib cage, mm -hmm. if you put that shirt underneath, another shirt or a jacket or whatnot, loose clothing, then then you're really going to simulate s simulate the uh, the real world because you got guys that are going to be coming and shooting, they're going to go, I hit them. Mm -hmm. And they're going to come over and they're going to look and they're going to see that the shots, shot placement weren't kill shots. Sure. You know, it wasn't neutralizing shots. And you'll see where a round went through the loose part of the clothing mm -hmm. and didn't even hit. So, and, and that's the reason you used to talk about having a, a bigger target. Well, uh, using something that, that kind of fits the smaller person. Sure, because it ain't going to help you to shoot that fat anyway. you no. got to get to the vitals, you know. Exactly. And, and they're all about the same size. And just, just like uh, Chris Kyle said, if you shoot small, you miss small. Yeah. Well, let's set up and do a little shooting. You want to? Yeah, we can. We're going to shoot our Dave Vigors target here, the yellow one. And that's uh, the yellow compound all the way through. We're going to see how it shows up on there. Got some expansion industries, 155 grain. Flat nose, uh, jack of the bullets here. 40 caliber. You can see here where I hit this guy. This 40 is shooting a little bit to the right for me. I was aiming right in here. Got one in there, but most of them's right in here. And it, it just, the thing kind of self heals. And when you put a lot of rounds through it, you have to repair one, but but the back just to clean to the front, you know, you just the thing seals right back up. And these things will take a lot of hits before they wear out. And you got to patch them up. These bullets went all the way through. You can you can't hardly tell it. You can see just a little. Looks like a little speck of pepper there where they went through. But thing seals right back up. It's not tearing it up at all with these full metal jacket bullets. You know, the the little targets holding up really well. Well, one of the things we've been talking about is in, in the importance of training is that. We want to do real scenarios. And one of the scenarios, especially with law enforcement today, and, and maybe even with the military, when we we're talking about you know terrorists and, and, and what they do, is that they take hostages. And, and a lot of times, you can't talk a hostage down. So it, it's important for officers to know, especially like in an active shooter situation, where they're gonna have a lot of close-in contact with not only 
the uh, the shooter, but with innocent bystanders, is that they gonna have to be con we want them to be confident with their skills. And so what you see here is we we've actually set uh, Pro Maggie up with with Crow Man, and Crow Man's bad guy. He's taking Maggie as a as a uh, hostage, and so uh, in this situation, we want to know that we can uh, neutralize. Uh, our crow man here without hurting Maggie. So we, we've got the hostage situation set up. If you were in a shoot house or a range situation, there may be a corner that you would come around and then and this would be a confrontation that, that you would be shouting commands, especially in law enforcement. But let's say uh, in a civilian application, you're out with your wife and some guy comes up and grabs your wife and he's demanding money or whatever and he's got a knife or some other weapon and he's threatening to hurt your wife you want to make sure that you're capable of being able to neutralize this threat without harming a loved one it could be your child in police situations it could be at a school or something where there's an active shooter so you know and, and this will build confidence so i'm going to take and we're again we're shooting the 40 but i'm about nine feet away and you can just see how close in you can actually get with these targets. So, go ahead, ready? Up. All right, now they all moved. Let's see what kind of effect we had here. So let's see, what well, we have about six rounds there. Yeah, so did, we got, did you hurt Maggie at all? I don't think so, she was right here. We can always take her hat and her hair off and we can see if we, no, her, didn't touch her, huh? no, we didn't get you it. You never hear the end of it. If you yeah, I know. My wife, would, my wife would be giving me a hard time about yeah. that. But, uh, you can see we had one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh -huh. Six actual uh, Take hits. It out. Of course, you always had shoot if you need to. Yeah, if, if we really had to. Of course, keep in mind, they're going to be moving mm -hmm. and whatnot. But, but this is great training. She's going to be screaming. Yeah. Let's put her hair back on. Looks better that way. One thing I really like about these, Tim, you can get close up. You know, if you're shooting steel, and you don't have fringe well ammo or something, you know, it could come back and bounce back on you. Maybe some term fringe we would get a little piece. You know, and ricochet is a problem shooting steel targets up close, but up close you need to practice up close. You know, you use paper, but uh, uh, these are a lot more realistic and you're not gonna get any bounce back. Your bullet's gonna go on through and not give you any problem. That's one thing I really like about the compound you got on these targets. Well, we can we can do some close up shooting if you want to today. Yep. Get it within about a foot or two. All right. I'm going to put a little double off buckshot in this guy with a suit on. I'm going to show you, I'm about uh, 10, 12, well, about 12 feet away, show you how tight a uh, buckshot's going to pattern you. Know, a lot of people think they can just shoot down a hall and it's going to get everything in the zip code. It's not like that. You're going to get a, about a spread of about a, maybe an inch every yard that you back up. So three yards, you can get about a three inch pattern on something like this. about what we got right there. We got about a about a two and a half inch pattern on this. There's the plastic wad sticking in it, but uh, that didn't do him any good either, but that buckshot went in there. I'm going to give him a little feel back there in the back. And back's not hurt at all. It's just say, there's some old there. damage back there from before. <laughs> you can see here on his t-shirt underneath, you can see that you can see that pattern better right there where the buckshot went in. It's one thing I like about a laser on something like this, especially if it starts to get dark. We're here in the bright sunlight right now, but this green laser on the Smith & Wesson Shield, this Crimson Trace laser, you can see it even in the daylight, especially you can see it at night. If something like this for a hostage or whatever, you know, people tell me all the time, say, well, I can point shoot, you know, six or eight yards or whatever. You know, I can too. But if, if somebody you love, your granddaughter, something's right here in front of this guy, he's fixing to load her in a van and you got to make that shot. I love a laser because sometimes you can't see the sights. Sometimes it's backlit, you can't even see night sights uh, that glow in the dark. So uh, you know the laser, it don't it don't hurt anything. It don't take anything away from the gun. It's there if you need it. And any gun that I carry for defensive purposes is going to have a laser on it. 
and it's going to be a crimson trace. I want to show you the difference how these bullets cut. Now here you had full metal jackets. They just they they poke a hole in like punch it with a pin or something. These hollow points they take out a little a little chunk. This is double tap. That use the uh, Barnes Tac XP, the all copper hollow point, which they expand really well in the ballistic gel and flesh, whatever. They always expand. They always penetrate. But you can see in this target right here, it takes a little chunk out of it going through there. So it, you can really tell the difference when you hit one with a good sharp hollow point. One of the things that we talk about when it comes to personal defense training, law enforcement training, is that you got close quarters. If you're out somewhere shopping uh, on a night, uh, out with your wife, your girlfriend, family member, uh, and you're carrying your, your gun with you for personal protection, you got to keep in mind that a lot of times what we get is really close up. Somebody comes around a corner, somebody, somebody approaches you, and, and they're there just that quick, and they're right on you. One of the things our targets do allow, as long as you do so in a safe manner, is close quarter type training because of the reduced ricochet effect that, that they have because the bullets are passing straight through. You want to make sure that your backstop is sufficient to allow for close quarter also. But I'm going to demonstrate, I've got a Glock 19. We're shooting a uh, 115 grain full metal jacket range round and we're gonna demonstrate just how close we can be here with this. So somebody's up on top of you, you draw, you fire. Headshot. And we're, uh, we're done.